Hey, and welcome to the Leftover Culture Review, the only review show on the internet that's angry enough to bring you the realest retro reviews ever. That's not what we're doing today, actually. Today, we're talking all about the Apple Watch. Um, it's a small device. It fits on your wrist. There's a whole heap of smart watches out there, and they're great at telling you the time, but they can do so much more. There was one game that I was super keen to check out when I saw it on the App Store. It's Christmas themed, it's called Santa, but it looks like those old Nintendo Game & Watches. The aesthetics here, again, I love what people are doing with the graphics here on the Apple Watch. It's such a small device, but it's such a beautiful looking game. It looks old school, it looks retro, and it uses the crown to move Santa around. You pick up the presents and you drop them in the chute on the other end. Avoid the gremlins being thrown, avoid the electricity. Of course, you're Santa, you're not superhuman. Like you can deliver presents in one night, but don't get electrocuted. Avoid the gremlins. Deliver as many presents as you can. Again, the aesthetics are really beautiful. It's a really fun game to bust out for the 30 seconds, the 45 seconds it takes for me to die. And games like this, games like Santa, they really capture what Nintendo were trying to do in the 80s when they were creating the Game & Watch series. Creating these games that had an alarm clock and a clock built in. It's really fun to watch this whole concept go full circle. Now we've got these timepieces that do play games exactly like a game and watch could but they can do so much more at the same time so look if you're getting an apple watch i wouldn't get one for the games the games have been fun to check out don't get me wrong and i love the miniaturized games available our technology is getting really small and i've always had a really big soft spot for these miniaturized games having like the tiger handhelds and um, obviously like Tamagotchi's Digital Monsters, I really enjoy the design around some of those products. So having the Apple Watch has been really exciting, but there is just so much potential and so much opportunity. I'm excited. I hope you guys are too. Anyway, we have spent way too long talking about little virtual games that really aren't all that much fun, but they exist and they are kind of cool just for what they are. I really appreciate you guys tuning in, checking out the Leftover Culture review, and I will see you next time for some more Leftover Culture. Cheers, guys. Christmas, my leftover culturists, and have I got a present for you. I've been super busy working, evidently not on videos, but on a very special project. Some of you, about 80, will remember more madness. The leftover culture review video game starring Bruiser. It gave everyone an opportunity to walk in my shoes and experience uh, the mall. So I've gone back and I've done it again taken everything I learned from that first Mall Madness game and I applied it to Mall Madness 2. So I really hope you enjoy Mall Madness 2 Christmas Rush. It's available for free. Totally recommend going and checking it out. PC only again, but if you love me, you'll get a PC or a way to emulate a PC already. There it is. Head over to leftovercultureview.com, put your email address into the subscription box and I will send you a link to the game. I do appreciate it. Thank you guys so much and stay safe over the holidays. I really need you guys back next year. I don't have that many subscribers. I can't afford to lose anymore. Thank you, all the best.